decipher. Here we're going to give you our, our first tech tip video. Tech tips extravaganza! <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to go over today is we're going to go over basic loading of magazines. And I know some of you will be like, why do we need to go over what? this? What? Yeah, I know. Uh, we do get emails on and comments, hey, can you show us how to load with speed loaders? Can you show us how to properly load magazines? So rather than just shun them. Well, at the range, you really don't know what the heck they're doing. So we're like, right. oh, no, 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 that's how you do it. Okay. So it, rather than shun these people and just laugh at them, might as well spread it around. Just, let's teach them. If you know someone that needs to know, give them the link to the video. It'll help you. Trust easy. me. So first we're going to go over is the most common magazine, which is a high cap style magazine. This is off an M4. Uh, there's a trap door located on the top. What I do is with my ammo can, just load it up. You'll probably spill BBs everywhere. Yeah, or just use a BB bottle. I'm like a smart person. Yeah, BB bottles take longer. Yeah, because I got, I got a little nozzle in front, you just dump it right in, you know. And you BBs everywhere. Yeah, well, now that you've got it filled, you close the trap door. It's a little wheel on the bottom. You wind the wheel up. The BB comes to the top. That's usually when I know to start counting. Uh, I'll give it 10 or 15 spins on the bottom until the wheel kind of gets a little tight. Then I know I'm good for roughly 50 or 60 shots. Right. Or if you're really used to it, it actually starts making a very dull noise when it gets to it reaches its peak for the winding. Yeah, so it just hits. So. Yeah. So it'll stop making that noise and it'll go like it's spinning freely because right. that's it. So this we have is a P-Mag. This is a 75 round standard capacity magazine or mid-cap magazine. Uh, you can use it with speed loaders of different kinds. You have the pistol mag size or you have the M4. It's amazing because it has a little conversion thing right on it. Yeah, you don't have to worry about losing your little adapter that comes Now what's great about these is they fit in regular pouches. So like I got this M4, it just sticks to my M4 pouch right there. Uh, right the pistol. It's right in pistol pouch. There you go. So you just carry with you whenever on the range. So you can, you can easily reload at any time. Uh, a lot of these will come with different types, but what you're going to do, you're basically going to take the little adapter, the little nozzle, put it at the top. Yeah, it's kind of hard to screw these up because it's actually set down further. It's a piece of crap loader, actually. But yeah, it's... <laughs> this is a cheap little Chinese one he's got in hand, as opposed to my Tokyo Ruby Berry in here. So this one will hold 75 rounds. Now I've got 75 rounds, I don't have to worry about winding. Just pull it on my mag pouch right in the gun, fire it till it's empty, dump pouch, and I'm done, ready on the next mag. The next one we have is our your basic gas rifle. Uh, now this is the uh, gas mag from the AK-74U that you saw us in the previous video. Um, a particular note, gas magazines in any gas pullback operation has feed lips because the bullet is actually being loaded by a traveling bolt, so obviously you can't pick it up from a feeding tube like traditional AEGs do. Right. So uh, you have to load it slightly differently or have some additional method. Luckily, they're usually double stacked, so you can load it from the top directly instead of having to go to the front like a lot of pistol magazines are. Right. Now, WeTech is pretty known for including a tube loader of some kind. You're going to fill it up and then it has a little follower here. I'm going to drop it. Pretty right. convenient because it fits right over top of the lip, right. so you there's put, no screwing it up. Put it right all. on. Of course, I'm not able to get the follower in place. Nice. And you just slide Sweet. it down. Uh, it has marks 5, 10, and 15, so you know how many you're putting in at a time. Exactly. Max, max usually 30 rounds. 38, 32, you know, whatever. So that's how you load those. So the next for, step, we have our gas blowback pistols, and obviously this is an SMG mag. Oh, God, I hate this one, too, so yeah, much. This is the KWA MP9. Luckily, KWA invented this thing where it snaps right at the bottom. So you take this, you take your... Uh, BB bottle and you can load directly into the spout here, which I'm probably going to screw up anyway. So you know, load right in there. Now you can also do this with a speed loader. Um, it's basically the same thing, but all you're doing... Just bear in mind, do not have any gaps in this, in this loading order. You can't have any holes in there, otherwise what will happen is... The next, and one shot, it might lodge the BB up into the feed lips and then it'll stop firing. Right. So and just bear in mind. You can't use a speed loader, you lock it down, you just push yeah, it in the same way. Yeah, just push this in the same way. I, yeah. Because a lot of these are too wide to fit the traditional adapters that they use on these. These adapters are great, but they pretty much only work on 19 of them with blocks. Right. So that's that one. The next step we have is the USP, which is also a huge pain in the ass. Yeah. 
has the same locking mechanism for, for KWA and KSC, but uh, same additional dumping method in here. You know, there's no, just make sure you knock it down so there's there's a solid order of BBs. You don't leave any gaps in there. It's not very, very good. Right. Uh, now, the next one we have is the WeTech Glock. Um, this one, it works really simple with a speed loader. Um, this one has the adapter on the back of it. You just put the adapter right over the end of the mag lips. Hold it down onto it and put the lever inside. And of course this... Here's a piece of crap. Give me that. <laughs> yeah. That's where it belongs. Exactly. <laughs> uh, right on top of there. Just nice and easy. Bam. And you Nothing. can load, load it really quick. You can do it with a, a pistol... A pistol... Uh, pistol... Speed loader as well that has an adapter. Those usually have attachable adapters, which you lost already. It, oh, it, it's, it's, in the, uh, <laughs> it's broken, it's a piece of crap. <laughs> now, this one, uh, you can actually, let me stop side for there. From, not only can you use the speed loader, but on the follower, it comes down and it locks into place. There's a little hole on the front. Yeah, that one's an interesting one. That's, that's the wheat, the W E check, right? Yeah, and you can just use a speed loader right into it. Or this. Or the bottle feeder. And since it is a single stack, you don't have to worry about double feeds, right? Or getting a gap. So it works really simple on doing that. Much handle though. Yeah. No, it's about 18 rounds. So, I mean, that's basically it. Reloading a mag is not too hard. Uh, Next step is gas, however. Yes. <laughs> Putting the One gas thing in the mag. People don't know is that the way propane or green gas work is it's actually a mixture of a gas and a liquid. Right. And when you put this up against this, it is actually shifting its equilibrium, so that's why, otherwise it would try to shift the equilibrium between this canister and this canister, and you would have less and less pressure every time if you use like CO2 or something, so how it has to go up, like so, push down, which is crap one, never mind, <laughs> huh, let's use a good mag this time, <laughs> push down like so, short burst so it, uh, you make sure you're not overfilling, and you'll know you're overfill when gas shoots out to the top, you'll see. Usually a little white burst shoots out the top and you know, oh, okay, well, it's yeah. not fitting in where gas in there. That'll also happen if you're off angled. Yeah. Uh, we usually tr go by about three, three second bursts for the most part. Yeah. It's, it's typically, you know, you can't really overfill it because it'll stop you anyway. Right. And then, same thing on these uh, 1911 mags. Now, this is out of the Wii 1911 MEU or the Desert Warrior. It's got a uh, deeper uh, base plate on it. So, you do have to make sure you have a deeper nozzle. I know the Best Tech Green Gas won't work in them. Uh, so a propane adapter or the air splat brand green gas should work fine. Yeah, other other green gas, most traditional standard size green gas, not uh, Best Tech or uh, King Light Arms. Bug or King Arms. Yeah, or those are too short for the extended base plates. And that's it. So I mean, it loads really easy. It's good for one magazine usually, unless you're running a KWA that has an NS2. Yeah, system. like these are all these, these are NS2, and actually wait, this is this one. No. My, my USP is NS2, so I can get probably almost three mags of BBs out of yeah. one charge. Same, same with this. Same this with is that. the uh, NS2 out of the MP9. We we'll just keep going and going. Yeah. <laughs> you run out of ammo well before you run out of gas. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this tech tip video. Uh, we'll have more of these coming out as you guys submit questions and information you may need. Um, take a look at the comments below for links and helpful information. And look for our next video. Remember, uh, for the first tech tip video, I'm Dean Donovan, this is Cypher. Uh, Airsoft's not a crime, play hard, play safe. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Now if you look up here, there's a button that says subscribe, as well as one that has a button for our channel, Airsoft Guru. Also, you can check out other videos by clicking on the videos button. It'll have a little drop down, shows you all our other videos. Good stuff there. Uh, make sure you click that like button. That's always important here. Uh, check out the comments section below. It has plenty of information as well as links on other information. Make sure you leave us comments. Talk, talk to us. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. Uh, this way we can go ahead and make the videos better for you. Um, also be sure to check out the videos alongside over here. Always tons of great information. And most of all, remember, airsoft is not a crime. Play hard, play safe.